All right, guys, today we have the most awesome treat ever moving into the 2021 Halloween season. Yes, I know it's only July, but we are all so excited for Halloween that we are so ready for this and so excited for this. This is the preview of the 2021 Spirit Halloween theme setup. Uh, new animatronics, just all kinds of awesome stuff. I flipped through this the other day just without any sound as I was walking out the door because it was posted right then and I couldn't wait. Um, but I'm about to officially watch it for the first time here. I'm going to listen to it and we're going to see what it has to offer. So without further ado, let's get to this video here. Yes. Okay, guys. So there is so much happening in this video here. Let's examine this a little bit. Let's just go frame by frame, basically. The first thing we see is Shorty. He is a clown from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Um, it doesn't look like he does a whole lot. He just kind of moves back and forth. He probably has some phrases that he says. Mr. Howell is next. A werewolf who is seven feet tall. I looked up the video on this guy, and and he's pretty awesome. He's seven feet tall. Um, next is Grim. Grim is just a skeleton. I think he is totally awesome because I don't know how he works as an animatronic. I mean, I know he moves around, he talks and stuff like that, but just a skeleton. Where is the structure that makes him move? I think that is what makes him so cool because it just legit looks like a living skeleton. Okay, so next we have Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw looks absolutely awesome. I love how he's enormous. He's, I believe, six feet tall, although I kind of expect it to be like what we found with Krampus, where a Krampus was like advertised to be six feet, and then some places you see six and a half, some places you see seven, but once you see him in the store, he is absolutely enormous. He towers over you and so scary. This guy is awesome. I love this guy. I love the way he looks. I love how he's just an enormous, big, fat guy. If he had a beard and a hat like this, he'd look just like me. <laughs> He has the the big hammer on one arm and and the the big skill saw the the uh, the rotary saw on the other hand and it spins as he moves. I think that is totally awesome. All right, let's keep moving here. The next thing we have is Henry Hustle. He's pulling out the cards and like reading your fortune, I guess. And then this guy, his head pops up and it's like the killer clown. I think that is awesome because one of my favorite things that they have at Spirit Halloween um, or anywhere, you know, that has animatronics is when they do the jump scare props. I love that. I love to be scared. I love to like not expect it, but expect it, you know, you expect it anyways, but you still jump when it jumps at you if it moves fast enough. That's why I love this guy. The next thing we see is ghost face peeking out from the doorway. Now, I gotta say, I am so excited to see a ghost face animatronic here this year because the new Scream movie is coming out soon. I don't know exactly when, but look at this. I even got my slasher shirt on with ghost face. I love Scream, one of my favorite scary movies of all time. It looks like he is basically just like a reskin of the Hauntress. Um, hiding, you know, behind a pillar or a doorway or something, and then he jumps out at you. That's cool, but honestly, I would have rather seen them do something 
better with him. Um, and if I were setting him up in my own hunt, I would definitely have to have like a fan blowing so that his, his cape or whatever you want to call it, his gown would be blowing in the wind. I think that would be really creepy. They could have done a lot more with him, but it's all right. It's cool. It's ghost face. I'm excited to see it. So the next thing is the caretaker. This one is kind of strange to me. I mean, he's obviously in a cemetery. He's got a tombstone strapped to his back. He does have a super creepy looking face. I love that with the eyes that light up. Some people don't like the eyes that light up, but I think it's really cool. Um, he's holding a shovel, but he has like these two weird knobs on the front of him where like from the back, he's just standing there with his shovel. In the front, he has these two knobs that you would think are knees, but it just, it doesn't really look right to me. I don't really get it. Um, cool nonetheless, but I don't know. That, that knobby knee thing kind of throws me off. Next is the Night Stalker, which is totally awesome because I love any kind of a scary scarecrow. Once again, he's got the yellow eyes that light up. Um, that's just like classic Halloween to me. The scary scarecrow. Beetlejuice, what the heck? So cool. I am so excited to see the Beetlejuice prop. Um, you can see in this picture here, there's other Beetlejuice props that they have available at uh, Spirit right now. But um, And I believe that he was supposed to be out last year, or they were at least teasing um, putting him out, but they didn't for some reason. But he is here this year. I hope he's one that they have in stores, because I really want to see him in person. Um, let's see, Wacky Mole. Wacky Mole is back. That's been all over the internet for a couple months now that Wacky Mole is back. So he's cool. Excited to see him. Then it starts with just like this whole barrage of stuff they're throwing at us. I don't know what this one is with the girl that looks like the Hauntress behind her. I don't know what that is. Um, I have not watched any other videos yet about this trailer or about any sneak peeks or anything from Spirit Halloween, but I bet there's some out there who, uh, who know what this is. It looks kind of cool though, and I kind of hope that girl has that weird laugh that <laughs> That would be hilarious. All right, let's see. Let's keep on moving here. Um, okay, they're just showing us those. I can't think of this guy's name who hangs from the ceiling here, like a uh, uh, bag of bones or something like that. Uh, the clown again, you know, hanging from the ceiling in the body bag. Um, what is this one that's holding a head? I don't know what that one is, but it looks cool. And I... Maybe there's a video on uh, on Spirit Halloween about this one that I can't find because I don't know her name. To my knowledge, it's not um, a re-release. I don't recall that I've ever seen her before, but it looks really cool. It looks like a bride holding the groom's head. <laughs> How cool is that? But beside her, she's like in the morgue because you can see feet with a toe tag on it. What in the world is that all about? All right, let's keep moving here. So much stuff that is jumping out in this video. I'll bet you anything Hunt Former has torn this video apart, man. He's probably got information about every single little clip in this video. So I'm going to have to go watch his video when I'm done. Oh, and then at the very end here, yeah, we got uh, Pennywise diving out of, I guess that's the sewer. And look at those teeth. And the yellow eyes, that is so cool. That's another one that I hope they have in the stores. All right, I think that's it, guys. Let me just, yep, that's it. That is it for the trailer. It's just under one minute long, and it's absolutely awesome. It has me so excited for Halloween. I cannot wait to get in these stores and just see what everybody has in person. So, if you guys love Halloween, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and come back because the next three months or as long as it lasts is all going to be Halloween. Halloween.